Hey guys, this is Big Nick here, and I am back here today to give you my two videos here today. So this will be the first one. You're going to have one immediately after this. And this is my NXT TakeOver Philadelphia predictions and later the Royal Rumble predictions, which will be after, immediately following this one. So first, before I start off, I just want to say thank you guys for, what, for the support on my um, my collection video. Uh, I have over 200 views in, in pretty much two weeks, so thank you guys for that. And... Um, I will, and thanks for the support on that video, and I will continue to post videos like that along with my wrestling stuff. So, thank you guys for that. So, I'm just going to start off now back to the top wrestling. And we're just going to start off with the NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. And it's really, as of right now, it's a four match card, which I expect is kind of it's a smaller card. Probably one more match will be added on the show just for fun. But as of right now, it's a four match card, and I'm filming this on the Wednesday of, well, yeah, the, yeah, there's Wednesday, yeah, the Wednesday of the Royal Rumble and TakeOver week. So yeah, let's just start it off, and first off, we're going to start off with the tag team titles, and that is the Undisputed Eras, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, Red Dragon, versus AOP, the Authors of Pain. Um, Undisputed Era, they're going to retain, my first, that's right off the bat. Um, I do expect this one to be a very fun match, because Authors of Pain have really shown they can get, you put them in the ring with someone who can go, they can go as well. So we've seen the Authors of Pain have great matches with The Revival and DIY. <laughs> And even Sanity. So, uh, with Red Dragon, I'm going to call him Red Dragon, who would arguably two of the, was one of the best tag teams in the world, probably still is, I expect it to be a fun, great match. But I do expect uh, Undisputed Era's O'Reilly and Fish to retain. So, next up we have is another Undisputed Era member, Adam Cole, baby, versus Alistair Black in the Extreme Rules match. Um... This, I believe, is the first Extreme Rules match in NXT history. Uh, NXT really has not had that many, like, gimmick matches. I mean, they've had a couple ladder matches with, at the first NXT event on the network between Neville and Bo Dallas, uh, Finn Balor versus Kevin Owens at Brooklyn. Yeah, the first NXT takeover of Brooklyn. Uh, we had, of course, the War Games match not that, a couple months ago. We had um, the cage match with Joe and Finn, and I think one no disqualification match with Rhino and Corbin. Oh, and we also, um, and I forgot, there's, there was a third ladder match. I forgot the third ladder match, the the Authors of Pain versus DIY, which is probably the best. So, really, and we've ha kind of seen that in these matches, they kind of, the NXT wrestlers don't take as many risks, except the DIY match, because DIY, I mean, they are veterans, so they can destroy themselves. But the majority of the matches have been with, like, prized NXT talent that Triple H, you can kind of see, does not want them to get hurt. So they've been very careful in the matches. Like, the match between Joe and Balor in the cage match, really nothing happened but a muscle buster off the top rope. That was really it. So, we kind of, I do expect this is going to be very violent, especially involving Alistair Black. So, expect some table spots, a lot of chair spots, maybe some candlestick spots, just to get the crowd happy to reminisce of the old ECW days. But in this one, I do expect Alistair Black to win. Probably with like a blast max kick into a chair into Cole's face, something like that. So yeah, I do expect Alistair Black to win in this Extreme Rules match. I would be very surprised if Adam Cole won, but if he did win, it would be in some nefarious way because he is a heel and it is another squad in his Extreme Rules match. But that one I expect to be match of the night, hands down. I know the main event and the women's match is going to be very fun, but I do expect that to be hands down match of the night. Next up, we have the NXT women's match, and that is Shayna Baszler, the runner-up in the Mae Young Classic, challenging Ember Moon for the NXT Women's Championship. I expect this one to be a very wrestling type mat based style match kind of like i expect it to be almost similar to what sh the match Shayna and Kyrie Sane have had at the Mae Young Classic because Ember and Kyrie Sane are kind of similar in their style like more high flying and Shane of course the ground and pounder i expect Ember Moon to i'm going Ember Moon retain it i would be very very surprised if they put the title on Shayna immediately Especially since Ember just won it a couple months ago, unless they're signaling that would be a way to put Ember in the women's, in the NXT, in the uh, Royal Rumble women's match, I would highly doubt that. But that's just I would be very, very, very surprised they put the title on Shayna so early. And finally, the main event: Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano versus Andrade Cien Almas. Um, I expect Almas to win. I expect this to be a very good match. Something I am expecting to happen in this match is the return of Tommaso Ciampa. Possibly his return. He is due for his return soon. We've known this for a while that he will be returning around this time of the year. I expect him to return and screw over Johnny Gargano to get his payback for his hatred for him that we never had a chance to live up because 
Ciampa got was pretty much hurt when he did all that. So I expect this to be a great, great match. They had a great match at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. I think it was last year, right? Yeah, last year. And knowing the fact that Johnny Gargano has been getting a very good, very fun push so far in NXT since he's been put singles-wise. So it would be nice to see him just, you know, get close and have it ripped away from him by Tommaso Ciampa just to make you feel for Johnny a bit more. You know, he's over as hell as it is anyway, so. <laughs> but yeah, I do expect that to be a very, very, very fun match. But as I said, I do expect Adam Cole and Alistair Black to be the match of the night. It's just going to be violent funness. So yeah, that is my predictions for NXT TakeOver. This was not going to be that long of a video. Not even the Royal... I don't even think the Royal Rumble is going to be that long. But yeah. So yeah. Undisputed Era wins. Alistair Black. Ember Moon. And Almas. So, oh, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in about eh, a few, few minutes after this video is uploaded. Well, this video's done, then I gotta upload it, then I gotta do the other thing. Just wait. Bye.